Hi, my name is Bogdan. In this video tutorial, I want to introduce you to the core concept in action form. And I will start with the template, with the form template concept. And this is the first, first screen you see when you go into the manage form. So you can start with a blank form or choose one of the pre-built forms, like a contact form or a login form. Now, these are um, forms that we've exported using the module actions in the NN. So uh, they were exported as XML files in the portal folder, and then we copied them in a special folder in uh, action form, desktop modules folder. And this is something that you can also do. You can export forms, copying them in the package, in the zip package, in the appropriate location, and then redeploy action form so it starts with some uh, already defined templates or simply deploy the new templates to existing installation and they will come up in this first screen in this video i will go with the plank template and introduce you to the rest of the concepts and i will start with the form fields and the tokens co concept so basically anytime you create a field let's say i create a first name field and you give it a name an ID is also generated like first name and you can use this ID to reference the field value after it's submitted so let's say that I want to display the value that was inputted in this field so what I would do I need to create a button and then I need to add an action and this action will be to display a message and I will come back to this in more detail in a, in a few after I show you this token concept so I just put the field ID between square brackets and this is called a token now I, these are form tokens that are generated by, by, by action form but I can also use DNN tokens or my tokens and the syntax is like that hello and then it's user first name you've typed this so this is the first name of the currently logged on logged in user and this is it will be the value of the first name field let me save this real quick and show it to you So I just type test and when I click the button it says hello super user because I'm the super user you've typed test so this is uh, the magic about these tokens and they can actually come from the form fields automatically generated by action form and some fields actually generate multiple tokens like for example let's look at the uh, radio boxes they will actually generate different tokens to get the selected field name and the selected field value and then some um, tokens are produced by actions but before I go to action let me introduce you the concept of events so an event is uh, something that occ occurs when uh, something is happening in with the form in DNN for example when the form is first loaded when or when a button is clicked or even when some validation will fail and we've already seen the click event we've seen it here and we've used it with the display message what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add another action for the on unit event and I'm gonna uh, add some tokens manually there, there is an action called inject form data and here you can actually introduce uh, new tokens these are, these are actually called form data more specifically in this case so my name I'll just give it the value Bogdan so I'll save this and now I have another token called my token my name that is available even from the start so I could use it as the initial value of the first name field and here you have to re always remember 
to put it between square brackets if you want to get the value otherwise it will just be this text my name it will not get replaced with the actual actual value of the field so I'm just saving this and I will demonstrate it to you before going further so you see first name and the value is Bogdan it auto populated and now if I submit it it will show me you've typed Bogdan so actions you've already seen them are basically pieces of of code that do something in particular and you can attach them to events and what's more important about action it matters the order in which they are defined so for example if i go back to the button i have a display message here but if here if i wanted to display another token that was created by another inject action let's say um, my injected and then I would add an action another action because this inject form data follows the display message it will actually actually not be available when the form arrives here but in this particular case something else happens because display message returns the control to the browser the, the execution will stop here so actually the for inject form data will never happen you you can actually work around this by adding new buttons to the um, display message box so below the text there will be some buttons that when clicked execute other actions so you can actually chain events uh, infinitely so I just move, need to move this up for this to work properly and you can get this uh, these uh, tokens from all kind of sources you can get them from an SQL query or so from the database or you can get them from a web service and extract them and reuse them in more actions for example you could do a registration form that makes a request to a different server to get some data from that system maybe generate a new ID and then get it back and use it for the new user registration so you have a link between the two systems and once you master these tokens and I uh, recommend that you also get my tokens the possibilities um, are, are limitless and we know a lot of people that are using this combination of action form and my tokens to build uh, uh, web applications another core concept in uh, action form is the layout so basically you have two options either go with the drag and drop layout which is very easy you just resize the fields and uh, position them in a 12 column grid so now it will look it will look like this or you go with the manual with the manual layout which is an option here but this is subject to to change in future we'll move it somewhere around the drag and drop layout and this gives you an HTML template where you can actually edit your form manually you can we can you can start with the, the with a two column layout and then you can make any HTML you want and reference the fields using these tokens and using this concept that I've displayed that I mentioned so far and also this display mode concept and I'll briefly go over this it basically says how the f how the form should appear by default it appears on the page like you expect but you can put it for example in inside the text and have a template and then when you when the form loads you actually see this link and when you click it then it, the form appears so it's not initially displayed and there are actually a few more options you can also display it in a dialogue and you can also display it in a separate page so when the link is clicked the form goes to another page where the form occupies the whole page and using this concept that I presented so far it's possible that to build quite complex uh, forms and the one that we've included are just uh, some basic some basic examples the rest of the settings deal uh, mostly with 
UI appearance and I will not waste time on them. And there are also some related to validation. But again, these are straightforward and maybe I will follow up with other tutorials on how to create custom validation. And before I conclude, keep, keep in mind that everything is, is fully customi customizable. So you can create your own templates, you can fully customize appearance, and then you can create new types of fields just from configuration and implement them from the XSL template, how they should be look and how they should behave. And then you can also create your own uh, type of actions. So what we have so far cover very many scenarios, but you're not restricted to this. You can easily uh, create new action programmatically. And uh, these actions, uh, like you see, they are very varied. There are actions that execute query and get some data, and then are actually actions that um, display a message or action that do some uh, parse a string. There are actions that collect payments and there are redirects and there are security like to encrypt or decrypt data and there are user related action like registration or grant roles. And make sure to visit the new documentation site that it's action form dash dot uh, dnn sharp dot com. And here um, we've started um, updating the documentation for action form 3.0 and it's uh, mostly done and for example you can look at the the new actions like um, let's say i want to look at the uh, data the run sql and so on you can find it here and that's it i hope this gives you a good start into action form and remember if there's anything you can contact us on our forums or via email thank you for your time